Good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining us uh, on our midweek moment. My name is Pastor Josh Gill of the Eastminster Presbyterian Church. So glad that you could be part of this time as we reflect on God's word uh, through scripture and through song. Reading from scripture, John chapter nine, verses one through 12. As Jesus walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, teacher, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered them, neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so God's work might be revealed in him. When he said this, Jesus then sat down, knelt down and spat on the ground and made mud with saliva. And he spread the mud across the man's eyes, saying, go and wash in the pool of Siloam, the pool of being sent. The man washed and he came back able to see. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar asked, began to ask, is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying it is he, others were saying no, but it is someone who looks like him. He kept saying to them, I am the man. But they kept saying to him, then how, how were your eyes opened? He answered, the man called Jesus made mud, spread it on my eyes and said to me, go to Siloam and wash. I went and received my sight. Then they said to him, where is Jesus? He said, I do not know. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This passage from John 9 was always one of my favorite passages to teach uh, with middle school students, uh, partly because the, the story is so physical, right? You have Jesus walking around uh, and this discussion with the disciples and Jesus' response to seeing this need is to spit on the ground, make a mud patty, and place it over this guy's eyes. And if it wasn't Jesus, we would, we would almost think there was something wrong with this guy. And then we see the response from the neighbors. This couldn't be the guy who was begging. He couldn't have changed. It couldn't have be, it must be somebody else. And the beggar's response is, no, I have been changed by Jesus, that Jesus made me well. I really, when I read this passage, it makes me think a lot about change. The question of how we grow and change as Christians. The idea that we should be open to the Holy Spirit speaking to us in new and different ways that the Holy Spirit should be prompting us to examine our own lives and see areas in which we need to grow and change. I think this year that we've all experienced together has really been a moment of growth and change. Not only are we wrestling with this pandemic, that yes, we, we hope it is beginning to come to a close, but we're still struggling with this pandemic. But we're also dealing with a moment of racial justice and concerns that are being raised by our brothers and sisters. And as Christians, it is our call to listen to those brothers and sisters and work to the betterment of God's world. Just last night, if you've, if you've read the news, we saw again another shooting. Um, that looks like it was targeting Asian uh, Americans. And we as Christians always need to decry any form of hatred, knowing that our God is a God of love and our God is a God of unity who calls us to stand together with brothers and sisters from around the world. So I pray as, as you reflect today as you go about your day, that you would experience the newness of the Holy Spirit and you
you would pray this day for our brothers and sisters. May you be blessed as we reflect on this musical offering today. for joining us for this midweek moment. Let us close our time together in prayer. Almighty God, our Redeemer, in our weaknesses we have failed, failed to be your messengers of forgiveness and hope. Renew us, O God, by your Holy Spirit, that we may follow your commands and proclaim your reign of love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Pray that you would have the wonderful rest of your week, that you would know that you are loved by God. Have a great week.